Hi, this is William, and today I'm going to show you how to put buttons into Phaser. What I've done is I've copied our basic template into a buttons folder, just as I've done in the last few lessons. And I've added some images, images UI, and these come from the mega template. And you can find all of this on WilliamClarkson.net. And I've also set up our brackets editor to point it to that buttons folder. You just go File, Open Folder just as we did in all the other lessons. Now I'm going to go to State Main, and the first thing I want to do is load that sprite sheet into the library in Phaser. And we need to give it a unique ID. We'll just call it Buttons. And then we give it the path, images, UI, slash buttons. And we'll use the green ones this time, dash green dot PNG. And we, next, we need the width and the height. And I measured them earlier, and it looks like it's about 265 by 75 high. Let's give that a try. And there are eight of them, but we could just leave that number off as it's optional. Now we set up a button. Variable, button play equals game add button. And the first thing we need to do is set an X and a Y position. And I'm going to use this game world dot center X. That will give me the exact center of the screen. I'm just going to put it 200 down from the top. And we use that same key buttons that we used in game load sprite sheet. That way it knows what image to pull it from. And then we need to put a function, and we'll make that function in just a moment, but we'll call it click me, and we'll go ahead and place it here, this click me. The next thing you need to pass is the scope. And it takes a long time to explain what this means, but basically if you just put the word this, then you'll be fine. And next we need to put the up frame, the over frame, and the down frame. And I'm going to put 0, 1, 0. This is corresponding to 0 for the white text and 1 for the black text. Now let's make that function click me. And I'm just going to log right now that we've clicked it. And we will use this code in a later lesson as well. It is console log clicked, so we know. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to put an anchor on the button. I think we did this in another video, but anyway, if we don't set the anchor, everything is aligned to the top left-hand corner, and we want everything aligned to the middle. I'll show you what that means in a moment. Let me set it up the correct way first. And I'll refresh this. And there's our button play again. Now if I don't put the anchor in there, it will look like this. It's left aligned to the, the clip there, to the button. So we want it like that. And let me refresh to get it back the right way. And we press it, and it says clicked. And that's how you add a button in Phaser. I hope you found this useful. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments below, and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.